Tracy Neville, New Zealand coach, Marine Tarua. Confirmation then of your starting sevens. No surprises from either team. The same sevens that started their semi-finals. Watch out for Guthrie and for Langman. What a battle in that centre court for these two teams. Will the World Cup stay in the Southern Hemisphere? After contesting the past five World Cup crowns, history lies with the Ferns, but we all know how the Roses like to break with tradition. Pamela Cookie, former England attacking end, you know the battles between these two, so important that quick Contact, start. England yeah, definitely, center. you want to get your first one just on the there. board to just settle the team. There'll be so much nerves going into this from all the players, but if you can just settle this first one, get yourself on the front foot and push through. For England, they need a turnover, but when Fanau is on song, she doesn't miss. 145th test for Maria Falau, drawing her level with Irene van Dijk, second most capped Kiwi. Jade Clark, England's most capped player, with that wing defence bid on her chest. To Guthrie then, England captain and Pittman on the edge of the circle. Defense. Crucial could that be, and they get the call yes, too. Yeah, what's in there? Cutting yes. that off nicely, seeing where that ball was going to go. She got a tip on it, and then the contact. That is contact shooter. Watson, one of the real spine built by Nolan Torre of Vani this New Zealand goal team. Attack. Vani drops side, goal attack. Vani that looks like wing defense. Range. But she dances around, gets a little closer and they go two up. New Zealand. Just seeing this intercept here. Ha look at that long rage that Watson has with her arms, able to sit off it and then pounce that. onto it. Brilliant pressure put on by the Silver Ferns. Oh, but how's the in the centre court? Does it herself? Goal is moving off wing. Contact with your fence. Little bits with of contact all over court. So much body on body inside that circle putting the pressure on the feet. Pittman ops for Guthrie, the captain. Yeah. Dancing around that circle, and again, the pressure comes. Yeah, New Zealand putting on a lot of force in that circle. England unable to penetrate that through and get it into one of their shooters. Contact, centre. Silence the crowd, silence the team. Langman's defense, so experienced. Contact. And that's, they've got leaders throughout court. That's it, yeah. Right from front to back when you've got a leader, like England. Maria Falau, up your shooting, then Langman, as you said, in the middle. Casey Kapoor, a goal defence. The fossilised are trying to lead this team. Keeping England up court, making them question every single pass. And again, Watson on that intercept. Barney drops side, wing defence. Keeper contact, knees. This a repeat of the 2015 semi-final. New Zealand. In that first quarter, back in Australia, New Zealand were 11 5 up in that first one. So they like a quick start. Barney's obstruction, goal attack. Barney's obstruction, goal center, contact, hip. And then what will happen is England and that defensive work will just the obstruction. put some of those niggly areas on. Ekinasio will go again. Contact keeper, advantage goal. England. Now what can England do? The might of Casey Coppola in front of them. Yeah, third opportunity now to get into this circle. They're getting it on the edge. Just Joe gotta Martin. get free, yes. gotta get free. Pause for the over one and that's good and confidence from Guthrie. Last time out, Harton played a blinder. England need to settle. Another help. There she is. She missed that score, but then she was straight back on defence. Two hands to get that interception. Vantage hold wing defence. Great oh, strength goal. there from Harton. There are, goal, and that's what she's going to need to do throughout this 15 minutes. Offer her defender so she can come round free. She didn't want to put that one up. Wing Wasn't settled. Contact. Oh. <laughs> A hip check, disrupt the rhythm again. So much body on body, but good has been just...
Just to get that one on the mark now for England. One on the board. Bunny's great wing defence. Full goal, early gap then for New Zealand. Just 11 months under Nolene Tarur, and what improvement this side have made. Yes, indeed. She's really got them playing back in that Kiwi style that we've seen in so many years before. They are fit, they England. are firing, and they're doing what the coach wants at the Bunny's moment. Breaking attack. It's intimidation. Old time. And it's of course it's intimidation. So it's Early awesome. caution for Casey Popua. Maybe she was doing what everyone else has been doing and just applauding that England attacking end. Maybe. Where you are? Right in her face. Yes, indeed. Good for Michelle Fipp out there just that to set the scene way. early. Let the players know exactly what she wants. Perhaps a little harsh. Contact centre I, hole. Yeah, I'm not sure just on that replay up. how much that would have put Hart not. But contact New Zealand centre. And that was all because of better work from England around that circle. Edge. Indeed, yes. They got on tight on the body, pushing Laura Langman to a place she didn't want to go. Contact cord. Contact. So tight. Bunny's New Zealand really speed played. just Bunny's closing down played. England. But then the opportunity for Helen Housby. Great, nice strength along that baseline. And Joe Hyten just waiting for her to open up and then put that ball in. And those will be those fine margins that England will need to see, understand and execute. Two from two for Helen Housby. And if Harton doesn't want to shoot at the moment, let her pass. Yeah, indeed. They're setting it up, playing well together, and that's what we've seen that partnership improve on. They help each other out. Have England shaken off those early nerves? <laughs> and again, Housby, she is pumped for this one. Right on the defence, causing the Ferns to make a mistake. Such is the noise, now it's intuitive. Those combinations, knowing where your teammate is on court. Good take there from Clark. Bunny drops side wing attack. Just struggling now, England, to break through this third With line. Defense, goal third. Yeah, unorthodox attempt at getting through from Chelsea Pittman. But she gets the contact goal. We see are, plenty more start. of that. That's it. Everything being given. You're that place in the final center. against Australia at yes. stake. Now Harton. Yes, she's not going to miss that one. Great smooth technique. This Housby is on it. You can strike that, don't give it away. Okay? In your set. You'll see little moments like that too. Good game management, perhaps. Yes. That was on the edge. Yeah, indeed. Still three seconds. You needed someone just to come towards the ball to help out. Everyone was just dropping away. Normally so good at riding that three-second tightrope. England have to release it within the three. Thought Falau might go for it. Second thoughts. She hunts, finds the space for herself. Maria Falau. Straight through for her. 100% Maria Falau. Yeah, six from six. This to put another couple of goals on. Barney's obstruction, wing defence. Patient. Nice dodge from Crampton. Just to get behind in that little bit of depth. Falau, best shot she misses. Well, we thought that was going to tight. Crampton's been contact so New special Zealand in this center. tournament with her feeds. Falau then finishing the job off for New Zealand. But now England need to build again. And Housby just not seeing that inset, but a replay oh, ball there from Watson gives England the in ball the back. Guthrie says yes, just calm it down. Such good work from Rory though. But New Zealand will throw that one behind them. Good take, land from Helen Housby. Lovely shot. Centre pass England to tie this quarter up for the first time. The experience of Clark and Guthrie combining. 
Parton again, just looking for space, having to go back to the option that is Jay Clark. Little call, little yelp from Gaffrey. Oh, there's a wall in that circle. Kapoa is on it. Two hands straight up. There's just no space in that circle for England. From a defensive masterclass to Falao on game at the other end, both ends of these courts. New Zealand stepping up, and also they won't mind that ball keep rolling. Mm -hmm. That is such great attack. time in there from Kapoa to get that intercept. Oh! But Gaffrey's on it. Jay Clark follows it up. Sora Brown. Barney's obstruction. Again, they just need to be patient on this. Use the full court, England, but don't gift it. Don't gift those Barney's balls. That is exactly center. what the Silver Ferns are center setting up contract. for. Those flies to come through. It looks free, but it's not. You need someone to drive through that zone because they will punish England. you, as we see here. Kapoa was all over that from the time it left Barney's the hand. She attack. reads it two moves behind. Taste of this New Zealand side too. So England could have tied it up. They're now three goals behind. Another important passage of play. Still so early on in this one. It was a roll on the post. That rattle didn't get to the mind of Housby. Yeah, nice use of the circle ledge there from Housby with Guthrie. Just to get herself a little bit closer to the post. Crampton to Langman, who made her debut all those years ago against England. Contact, goal attack. Incredible that she's been at the top of the game since 2005. She just keeps going, doesn't she? Look England. how they need her. They do. That is Influential Langman is on attack Throwing. and defence. Goal third. Vantage obstruction. Yeah. Clark again, just getting stodged in the mud. Great work. Vanny construction goal shoes yeah. up. Again, we see this zone that the fans are putting out, spreading England wide, and now oh. is what forces the mistake. Her nickname Salad Fingers, but now she wants the bang, bang, bang. Make it more like a boxing match, says Joe Harton. Great work. And that's what's key for England. When they do make those mistakes, they're straight back on defense and doing the same to New Zealand. We both know they've got the skills, but this is much about the mind for these two teams. Look at this here. Watson had no one else to pass to, but Kapoa, and that ball was way too high for her. Contact, wing defence. We are just 12 minutes into this one. Hold, centre. Two goals, the difference. The obstruction goalkeeper, arms around with the shoot-up. What can England do in that circle just to disrupt the rhythm a bit more of New Zealand? That helps. That, that definitely helps, but Ekinazio straight on that rebound to help her teammate out. And again, just all this pressure on the yeah. England centre pass. Indeed, someone needs to drive right through it. Good from Housby just to come out Manage of that circle. Centre, contact goalkeeper. That's it. Housby didn't fancy it. Harton back on song. Yeah. That is great, Queen. Oh, Guthrie. Center. Just a timing issue. She knew she'd done that. <laughs> just getting a little bit too close there on that centre pass. You've got to be three foot away. That was as close as I got to Laura Langman in the queue in the shop the other day. Great positioning from her as well in the queue. <laughs> Straight to the front. Barney to the centre. Good from England here. Just pushing them out, but Falau rolling that front. Oh, oh, ridiculous. Nothing. England. But net. Her shot is so sweet when she gets it off. And that's the real difference at the moment. Contact goal attack. Just seeing that With being shared attack. by both in that attacking end for New Zealand, both so that. Yeah, Maria Falau at 9 from 11, 82%. Ekinazio, 2 from 2, 
but just coming off the court there from Housby. Foot out of court from Helen Housby. Straight yes. back on the offensive, though, from England. It's a real healthy lead for New Zealand to take into quarter time. Can they knock another one off? Defensively, England just trying to keep them up court. He needs to keep Flau out of that Zealand circle. Center. And the contact called against Laura Langman, Nolan Tarua. Well, we know what she makes of that call. Now heading towards the last 30 seconds. Plenty of time on the clock for England. But they've really struggled to contact get through. Goal attack advantage offside at the it's line. defensive effort at from New Zealand. Contact goal attack. Yes. Advantage obstruction work. Good from Pittman, just to get a little bit of depth there. It's obstruction goalkeeper at your arms. With the goalkeeper, oh sorry, goal defence. So ideally sorry. they sorry, want to give New Zealand enough time to get up the other end. But at the same time, you've got to make sure yourself. And that one Sorry. rolls over. And New Zealand have the throw. Yeah, Housby's first miss of the game. So it's New Zealand in this battle of minds and battle of bodies so who yeah, nudge in ahead in quarter time. The huddle from England on court. Plenty of questions defensively, at least, and getting more through to that end. But New Zealand, brilliant. 12-9 the lead. Well, if you want experience with ball in hand, you give the centre pass to Laura Langman. And Pamela Cookie, it's been that level head, that experience of this New Zealand team at the moment that's telling. Yeah, definitely, and it's mainly been in that defensive pressure. England have struggled to get through the zone that New Zealand have put on in that end third. So they just need that confidence to push through it, drive through it and have no fear. But good work here from England on defence. Pushing the Kiwis back. Tactically, we know that Nolene Perua is one of the best in the game. Just 11 months working with this side. Now it's about what the England players can do on court. Clark lands it. Soa Brown. Perhaps needs to see a bit more from her Good in this quarter. Good from Clark. Just coming through that middle. More drive, more speed. Joe Harton was asking for it. Tracy Neville was asking for it from this Roses team. Still again, though, so impressive New Zealand. Barney's offside, goal attack. Housby will have to take... Construction, goal defence. Oh, no, she found the free hand. So goal defence beside her. The call comes, the step in. Oh, and who wants Throwing to England. take that one? Just rolling off the edge, but good from Joe Harton in terms of rebound, forcing the back line still defense. and clever there to get the obstruction call. So Jeeva Mentor, great rebound possession, consistently one of the world's best defenders. It's moments like that which will see this one swing. Back to within two goals and their centre pass England. Keeper, contact. One step back, shooter. for more from the home crowd and they return the favour. New Zealand have been so good on their centre pass. Pushing Falau out of the circle, working around. We said there was a tussle, the Langman Guthrie in the centre position. And this is typical Falau range. Vantage obstruction, wing attack. Are you seeing less hesitancy on this England centre pass, or is it Back just a case of press repeat in that are. first quarter? And they're still struggling just to get down that depth quick enough, but good work Contact here. goal defender. Beside the goal defender. So who needs to do more? A little bit more in terms of Chelsea Pittman and Helen Housby coming through on that centre pass and offering second phase deeper so that you can get over this Kiwi attack defence. Oh, a punch of the air from Ebony Asara Brown. Falau does 
doesn't like that call. The smirk on her face. Guthrie was offering. Just maybe let this ball go a little bit quicker sometimes, Barney's England. contact, wing defence. Barney's obstruction centre. At times it's like New Zealand has seven players center. inside that circle alone. Obstruction. Lovely day though, England, as we see it. Ebony and Sura around, just getting a leg. Maria Farrell getting called for that attacking contact as she tried to keep her space. But England driving now, Barney's playing with a wing defence. Oh. The advantage called, but England don't take the advantage. They'd levelled up in this one. They were 12-9 down after the first quarter. They're 4-1 up in this quarter. But this to nudge New Zealand back ahead. Good pressure in that circle from Masuro Brown and Guthrie. But see this here, Ekinazio just in the right place at the right time. So impressive, Ekinazio in this tournament. Another of those that's really come on under Tarua. No one in the circle. That is contact, contact centre. Couple third. Contact. Captain Guthrie. That's it. Trying just to get a little bit of the ball for her side. Contact inside out. That was better rotation inside. there for Mekinazio and Falau. Falau just pulling out wider to give Mekinazio the middle. So they went hustling and bustling like they did just the one before. Obstruction, goalkeeper. England! Well, England have just gone ahead so in terms of the quarter England. score, but now New Zealand swing back at them. The two goal lead overall. Contact New Zealand centre arms. Langman yeah. called this That's time. It. Yeah, she Barney's just put her arms up as attack. Guthrie was trying to run past. If she'd held her space, potentially would have got the attacking contact on Guthrie. Oh, you can't give her that space. Watson! On the fly again, and Crampton too. There's that spine again into Falau for 10 years, the mainstay yeah. of this team. And those three so key to whether this team can make that final. Barney's break wing attack. Barney's obstruction centre. And all of a sudden, a three goal gap could just be about to come for. Contact to arm back wing defence. Yes. There's some movement on the England bench. Looks like we might see Nat Haythorn-Thwaite come on at that wing attack position. Yeah, probably, yeah, just to give that little bit of extra drive off that centre pass in an attack. Get some depth for this England attacking end. So Nat Haythorn-Thwaite has gone to warm up and they need something in that end, England. Is New Zealand just getting the better of them? Good calm head there from Kapoor, not forcing the long ball, using the lateral and going herself. Bedford Chambers, Asura Brown on the tip. She's the same as she was before she was married. The skill's still there on court. Oh, just over the top. Hart needs to start sinking those. Guthrie trying Contact to keep up. His defensive pressure on. They'll be angry, England, at the way they've let this one just slip again. They're getting the chances, they're getting the opportunities. But as we saw with South Africa up against Australia in that first semi-final, in games of such tight, tight margins, you have to take it. And now the roll of the dice, the smile on the face for Nat Haythorn's weight. She replaces Chelsea Pittman on court. There's a big change to Harton and Housby a changing oh position um, in that attacking Chelsea's end. Side. Yes, goal defence. Yep. That, is that was clever. They won't mind up. going back because it just sucks a little bit of the air out of England again. Just playing that ball around. Good, Asura Brown again, just getting round for Lau. Barney drops side wing defence. Oh, Crampton. Top level netballers will ride that three seconds. Yeah, indeed, and just waiting. But it's given England the opportunity to come round the shooters. Sometimes she just needs to give that quick pass. Over halfway through the second quarter. 
and New Zealand ticking like it's the first minute. Indeed, Ekinazio there, six from six, 100% shooting percentage for her. Six goals is nothing at this level, but England need to start firing. Obstruction, yep. wing defence. And this change now in the attacking end, bringing Harton out, getting us a little bit more space out of the circle, and how's me under the post. Can see the ball coming down the court and read off it. One down. Contact England centre. Yes. It's the speed at which Guthrie and Langman are going. Mentor had a little look. England. Just coming through a little bit late there. What New Zealand Contact. are doing Wing so defense. well is they're putting that scoreboard pressure on. turns, shoots, seals it. New Zealand. And when they can get those one-on-one -on -one opportunities down in that attacking end, we're seeing them a little bit more successful. Yeah. Joe Harton sitting five from eight, 63%. Helen Housby, that nine from 11, 82%. That attacking end so, so successful for England in the semi-finals. New Zealand with all the tricks at the moment. Contact goal was had. Advantage of Saxon centre. Short pass. Yeah. And you can oh, feel that coming. Good. Crampton has been afraid of giving that ball to Flau, but she had no option at that time. Now it's a measure of England. Corpua sensing that. Tried to recycle it for her team. There was a call of short pass then too. Obstruction, goal defence. England. England's goal, England's centre pass. Funny great wing defence. Good depth, and that is what is needed from that wing attack position. Nat Hay falls like taking it along, and it opens up the house. The crowd lifted her, the spring in her feet lifted her, the perfect feed into her. England back on song in that area. New Zealand though, sometimes just playing around without a care in the world. They've played against the big Australian sides when the whole arena's been against them. Time and time again, this will not rattle them. Obstruction, wing defence. Obstruction. New Zealand. Everything now seems to be in slow motion for those England attackers. Attack. They're asking a defensive end to do the work again. Cramps and little slide. Ekinacio's on her back. Palau went to help her up, but England have ball in hand. Canadio back up on her feet. Central advantage offside wing. Haythorn Thwait on at that wing attack position. The heavy strapping around her legs. Ruled out of the domestic season in Australia. Obstruction goal defence. That's short. Goal defence. Now England finding that space. Yeah, much better now. Ekinazio getting caught up in back. Sorry, Brown's legs up the other end, but such smooth transition for England. Getting the ball down the ball. And yes, hey, the crowd again. Langman on so many occasions has been that battery in the heart of this team for New Zealand, but Guthrie had her covered, that midcourt had them covered and instantly put it back on. Great pressure there, forcing that ball to go off the sideline. Every single person was marked. Can they play it smart, England? Finally, we attack obstruction. That's smart. That's smart. That's how it's been. Indeed, if you can't go over them, go under them. Great bounce pass there, Joe Harton, into the right space. Now England can go ahead. 21 all. Contact New Zealand centre. This change of Joe Harton into goal attack has just given her a little bit more freedom. No 
passion from Tracy Neville. England, in this battle of wills, nudge ahead. And now England's zone, space marking, keeping New Zealand at the court. Guthrie on Langman, such a wonderful, wonderful battle. She's certainly getting a bit more, isn't that, oh, Haythorn Thwaite? Thought Flau might go for it. We've seen her from that range before. Yeah, just one foot was out of the circle, though, so she couldn't. And she's confident in the feed. Why wouldn't you be? From Crampton, Angman. And look at that in the circle. Great work of Sarah Brown. Getting Flau on her back, pushing her off the sideline, just protecting her space. Bring the moments. Can they bring the goal? Asara Brown, Haythorn Thwaite in that change. Harton. Oh! Watch this here from Asura Brown, just getting round the body. So clean on that. Well, it's now New Zealand with the questions to be answered. We know tactically all the skills they've got as we approach the last few seconds of this one. Psychologically, England coming from behind, drawing themselves level, taking themselves in front. The clock says four seconds. Construction goal defence. The umpire says you can wait and wait for that one. They have done for full two quarters. England were behind in the first quarter. England win the second quarter and they go into the break 24 21 up they are dancing in Liverpool the huddle comes now they need the calm heads England with a 24 21 lead heading into the third quarter but it's history on the side of New Zealand so often through to those finals, just Australia and New Zealand who dominate it when it comes to the World Cup. Can England make a change? <laughs> History on the side of New Zealand, but fortune favours the brave. England with that three goal lead, Pamela Cookie alongside me. Interestingly, with the umpires involved too, key in this is going to be which end each team shooting. Yeah, definitely. As we can see from the stats, but wing defense England scored nine in that first quarter when Michelle Fippout was that defensive end. Josh Bowering down to our right-hand side, as we see now, letting England. a lot more go in that circle and giving the shooters opportunity to score. Michelle Fippert down on our left-hand side is allowing the defenders to be stronger. Only nine scored in her end in both quarters. And England, for that final quarter, will be shooting towards the scoring end. Still so much netball to be played before then. For now, it's goal for goal. Langman, calm as you like. Corpua, hand in face, shakes that off. See some heavy strapping on Ignacio. We saw her being strapped up. But just before contact, she came back England out on center. court and goes all the way to the top of her thigh. Mm. The load she's been carrying has been key, though, for this New Zealand side. contact centre. Yeah, definitely, and her movement in that attacking end is really key just to open up the space and not put all the pressure down with Maria Falau. But if ever there was anyone that could handle England. pressure, it's Maria Falau. Do you think we'll see maybe structurally, tactically, some changes as Haythorn Thwaite with a bit of unorthodox play. Top side. Inside the circle. Great there from Harton. Just using Guthrie again on the edge to give herself some balance, but three seconds called too slow on that turn. They don't like it, but, but, just seeing the strength of this New Zealand side defensively. Tarua has that ability at any point to flip things up Contact, for the fans. Contact, goalkeeper, your elbow. 
Come around with the keeper. This just settles everyone down. Burning to cause wing defence. This is Goal where defense, New Zealand have struggled in terms around. of both shooters. Just on the hold, they're not moving, they're not offering anything different, and they're having to shoot long shots. Great backup. Masora Brown, there's Clark. England's most capped player getting amongst it. Harton wanting to make amends. Construction sent up. Hayton yes. Thwaite brought on for Chelsea Pittman at that wing attack position. Yeah, and she's finding herself in quite a bit of space. Started to contact wing defence. Strange that Harton didn't shoot that. Contact wing defence. Just, I think, probably just trying to get her momentum and her calmness yeah. back. Obviously, we saw her miss that last one, so just trying to work the ball. She gets confidence when she's got ball in hand. Contact on attack. Well, the contacts seem to be on her own player. Harton wipes out Housby. Silver Ferns have it again. Yep. So nothing to do it. This attack. time, though, opening up the space well. Good play down that far sideline from the Silver Ferns. Just that quick ball, driving ball, and then straight across the baseline. Oh, we're back to within one goal, and it's their centre pass. Crampton just needing to let that ball go early. But she's not going to get many opportunities to get this ball to their sheer shooters. Well, England put seven goals on at the end of that second quarter. And now New Zealand about to go 4-1 up in this quarter. Yeah, nice England. play there. Just working it down, but making it difficult for themselves. The defensive pressure of England has been good, but out the blocks after that half-time, the Ferns have really done something. Nolan Tarura having some words. Huh? Hayton Twait said to Housby then, why didn't you shoot? They're questioning it themselves, the players. With your leg, goalkeeper. Just need to turn to the post at least, even if you're not going to shoot. And that one from Harton rolls round. Just to get the defence off you. Create the space, see where you want to put it. Oh, New Zealand. Just another moment. Such fine that margins again. Who wants that ball inside the circle? There was the run oh. from Housby, there was the push oh, okay. on yeah. the back of Seven. Joe Harden. Great That's from Haythorn Thwaite, just to not get drawn into Housby's baseline drive, yeah. but see Harton open up top. Rachel Dunn on the bench, perhaps one of the options for Tracy Neville's side. <laughs> Clark just getting a hand to it, disrupting the Kiwi play. Tarua has just had a word with her bench too. Looks like Crampton, change. yeah, just going on to warm up in the foreground. England. S sorry, Saunders, Francois Saunders. But for Crampton, that's probably the, the likely change. Yeah. Bad into obstruction wing defence. It will get raggedy on the centre pass. There will be spaces that open up. Just playing the calm, simple netball, easier said than done. Yeah, it's going to be the team who can keep their heads in all of this. It was always going to be tight. It was always going to be physical. But it's who can stick to what they know they can do best and execute it. The Liverpool Arena Bones sensing that their side need Contact another lift. Karen Gregg, for so long the assistant of Tracy Neville at Manchester Thunder. Now the head coach there off the back of her own Super League win this season. England, such a threat though for Lauer game. Big, Incredible in this one. Yeah, big game player. Oh, this court littered with big game players. Now shoot. Contact. It's on the ball, goal defence. No, it's not taken. Where you are now. <laughs> Arguing yeah. every call. Yeah, everyone trying to get that little bit of an edge. Approaching the halfway point in this third quarter. And there's a couple of bibs on. We might see Bailey Metz come on too. She's got the goal shooter bib on her chest. Nolan Tarua looking to change things up. For the moment, it's on court. 
who she's got to rely on. Guthrie there just trying it. And oh! again, another tip. Uses her dress to wipe her face. Bonnie she's working hard, is she? Every single one of these players sweating to make that final. England. Look at this here from Guthrie. Great hands. She just came up like a jack in the box to get a tip on that. But Ekinasio is still sitting on 100%. Oh, great work from New Zealand on the fall. She can be on her backside, but she's lifting the rest of her team onto their feet. Indeed. Guthrie there, off balance, still managing just to lift that one up so that Hay Thornthwaite could get it. And here comes the change that you predicted, Pamela Cookie. Crampton, who'd been so crucial throughout Contact, this tournament for New Zealand, makes way and Saunders comes on. What prospect, what does she give this Silver Fern team? Contact, England a little bit different, arm. she's a little bit more harsher on the body. She Come will up, hold her up. space and then pop forward, whereas Crampton, we saw, was doing a little bit more running, but laterally. England. So often we're used to talking about the star, the quality of Maria Palau, mm. but Ekinasia sharing that limelight. Contact, we attack. Well, there's Saunders, <laughs> introduction to the game. Vantage contact goal attack. Just confirmation of those changes along the bottom of your it's screen. Offside, team pal. Offside. Just off your screen That's at it. the moment. Yep. Bailey Mez almost doing laps of the arena they're working her that hard in warming up and that's the, another of the real changes they'll go a full 60 minutes this new zealand team they can Same yeah but we've also defense. seen how noni toro has used that change in the shooting end ekinazio coming off to the bench just having a little sit having a chance to read the game more and then she's in, re-injected her into the game so potentially that could be what she's going to do next but we've also seen falau on the bench Saunders waits for it. Oh, her heart and went, did the splits. There's that calmness of Saunders in that wing attack position. That's what 66 Contact taps will bring in. Barney's offside. Outside. Where you are. Where you are. <laughs> Hold time, centre, you're out of play for contact. Well seen there, Laura Langman using her now as Falau rolls round the base. England. So 30 all, we attack. nine six in this quarter, New Zealand lead. England, that storming second quarter. So often though, Pamela Cookie, we talk about this third quarter, the importance of it from domestic leagues to internationally and what it can do to psych you up into that final 15. Yeah, definitely. The team that I think can get the lead and the up in this quarter, as we play, call it the championship quarter, can push on in that last. So tight. Barely a bit between them. Goalkeeper contact. So tight in that circle, isn't it? But Langman just pulling them all round, conducting them, moving like chess pieces. England. Guess what? It's 31 all. And this is the second phase that we that wanted to see from England in that defense. first quarter. Going deep. Not like that. Not like that. Not did she keep it on? She did. But into the hands of Laura Langman. Vantage abstraction, we attack. Ah, oh, you can feel the tension with the England fans. Again, good vision from Langman, just to go over the mess. And Ekinazio is Zero. not missing today. She's put in a performance worthy enough to take her side through. Who wants to blink next? Getting cramped in that middle bit. Saunders is, look at the speed she puts on. She's one side of the court, then the other Ball's side contact, of the court. contact, wing defence. Come right around. And she's consistent That's as it. well, isn't she? You know, it might not be spectacular, but she's going to put that run in for you. Yeah. 
Bilal didn't fancy it. Hold goalkeeper contact beside her. Good hold from Mekanazio, using her body, making it really difficult for a mentor to get round. England. It's now 12 7. And what we were talking about earlier about the different ends umpiring is coming to show now. With the wing attack, step back. Beside and England will have read defense. that. Beside, Tracy Neville beside, will have seen that yeah. too. But they still want to go level in this one. That is contact wing defence. They pulled themselves back before. But another interception to lift the team. Yeah. Watson, two hands on Dying that one. Centre obstruction, causing contact, England centre. Where you are, obstruction goal defence. Well, she ended up attack. sliding through her legs, but Guthrie called for causing that one. I mean, come on. New Zealand. Look at this here from Watson, straight up in the air, all over Houseby. Obstruction Halsby. goal attack. So they've gone three goals out. Can they go four goals out? Just over a minute and a half of this third quarter remaining. 12-7, the quarter time lead. Oh, Maria Falau. England. Five goals in a row for New Zealand. That's the difference at the moment. She's all on her own, but then suddenly marked up. Parton goes on the back up. Perfect. Yeah, just what they needed there. Five in a row we've just seen from the fans. They England really needed that one just to keep that keep their scoreboard ticking over. Last minute of the third quarter. They won't mind playing it around. Not only can they take a goal center. and put it on the scoreboard, they can take a few seconds off the clock too. England. Big, big centre pass for Serena Guthrie. Parton, where's the space? That is contact Silver Fern's hands, the forest around them. Clark now goes over the top to Guthrie again. There's Haythorn Thwaite in a bit of space, but the congestion inside that circle. Harton was offering, everyone can see her arm. Housby wants it. She wants the goal to lift her side yeah. again. Now can they hold on? Still another 15 seconds to come, but, but psychologically, the difference that would mean. Clark went on the side. She's out. Guthrie's out. Falau just blocking everything out. Falau is having one of those games to lift her side. No! No! That goal won't count. It was called for the contact. So just a three goal gap as they head into the final quarter. It was a quarter that saw New Zealand take on England. They had to. They put 15 goals on against England's eight in that quarter for a 36-32 lead. New Zealand against Australia in a Netball World Cup final. That's what happens, right? Can England turn things around and upset the world order again? In front of them, a three-goal gap. 15 minutes for the hosts to make the final of the World Cup for the very first time. The umpires could prove decisive in this quarter. The highest scoring end, who wants it? Massive centre pass for England. Can they chalk the first one off? Nat Haythorn Thwaite, that wing attack position. Joe so Hart comes out hunting for it to drive the side forward, trying to create space. Obstruction sent up. Pamela Cookie, having stood in that circle, having played with this England attacking end, what do you demand from them in this last 15? Something like that. Just like that, that yes. Joe Hart to be on song, to turn to post and to put that, that shot up with attack. confidence. Keep that movement going round. Housby still off along that baseline. When needed, pop. Haythorn Thwaite to keep those drives going deep. Spread this Kiwi defence so that their zone, which is so strong, can't function together. Nolene Theroux says no one can live with this attacking end when they're on fire. And that's exactly what they've been 
in the first three quarters of this one. Exhibit A. She continues where she left off, 100%. And it's great, goal defence. Oh! Big players, big moments. Langman takes the sting out of it again. Saunders, that change, so effective at wing attack. Falau. She goes straight. Look at this here from Warray, just getting in front of Guthrie and cutting off the line of the pass. And if New Zealand are to win this, how key will their intercepts be? 9 3 up on England. Construction goal attack. And that's yes. unusual given England through this tournament. We know they've got Guthrie that can do it. And there's one to the tally. Can do it on the line. So many times we've called it a moment that could change this game. New Zealand sense it. England sense it. Throw in England, wing area. Just waiting for some movement in this circle, no but Guthrie held for three seconds. She just needed to give that quick gut pass to Joe Harton on the edge of the circle. Don't wait Whoa. for something else to open up in those situations. Just give that one, let her stand up, get the defender off her, and then play round again. England won that Commonwealth Games gold by playing with their guts. Oh, Joe Harton! There's a gutsy contact, performance. Contact. She is on it and she's fired up and she says to her teammates, give me the ball. Oh, Corpua knocks Harton off the ball, but nothing knocking Cowsby. Cowsby here just running again, lovely lines. Rory getting stuck, stuck ball watching. 100 Harton. meter sprint then. All over it. Now Cowsby again. We've seen One Harton wake back, up, shooter. she's lifted it. We are back to within two. The semi-final on a knife edge. Contact with your tap, where you are. That is contact centre. Good from Saunders just to... Contact England centre at the edge. Come round. When they get tight on the body on body, yes, it's really difficult for a feeder to know where the space is, as we see here. But luckily for fans, contact call called on Absuro Brown. Oh, Liverpool thought it was theirs. Nothing, nothing is disrupting her this afternoon. No, she's definitely got her eye in. Contact, goal defence. No, you pause. Centre third. Well, if there's going to be contact, you're going to let the world know Centre that it came third. to you. Falling with style, Serena Guthrie. Harton on the edge of the wing circle. defense. It's tight. Well worked there from Housby. She's trying to wriggle free, but trying to find that space. Brilliant Contact, defensive effort defense. again from New Zealand. Harton just yeah. opening up there onto the post. Now the pressure back on New Zealand's centre pass. Every time they found a way through, though. Keeping them out of the circle. Yeah. Swinging the ball round. Pausing, wing defence. Clark yeah. try to back out of that. No option in the circle. Mentor and Asura Brown. Oh, just at that last second. It opens up for Ekinazio on the baseline. England. Will they miss one? Will they be forced into missing one? At the moment, they're not. Wing defence obstruction. Beside Rory, the wing they're just defense. letting England off the hook. When you've got a player out, that's one less defender who can put arms up or Contact, disrupt play. Oh! Contact call against England. These small calls, these moments. And this is where New Zealand are clever. Eating up the court, eating up the clock. But no one to pass to. Contact. Hold on. Goal attack where you are. Contact 
So the fans now, if we can see, Blau is coming out of the circle a lot more. She's playing that goal attack position once this ball gets into this end third, just to open up the space a little bit, get on the run. Caution against England's captain. Push goal defence on the way round. Yes. round two. England need to be careful not to get blown. Yeah, they don't want to be blown out of the game. Their defensive pressure has been so good in terms of how they've stopped this ball getting into the shooting end for the Ferns. Eight and a half minutes is plenty with a four goal gap. But this New Zealand side look like they've got their eye in. The hunger and the desire to make it to another final. Balao exits the circle again. Lovely no, there from Saunders just, just to take that base oh, run. And when they having to do that because of the strapping around Ekinacio, maybe she's a little bit yeah. affected by that. And her first miss of the game. The New Zealand defenders trying to make themselves heard. The shouts coming from the back of the court. Watson and Kwapua. Sora Brown will keep that one on. But the options narrow. Oh, that was on the edge of the three. Clark on the edge of the three, too. Having to go back, but work this ball down patiently. Hey, Thornthwaite comes up the court to help out. Harton comes through the middle. Count the three. Find the space. Find the player. Oh, and a player to stand she up. keeps it on and for now. How good was that? Just to let the ball roll a little bit closer to the post for her. Well done, Shannon Francois. Was that the moment? Was that the moment that takes them through? Five goals still, plenty of time for England. But now the pressure on them. And not nine intercepts for the Kiwis, but under the post, Housby answers the call. Contact, goal attack. Call goes England's way. Ignazio getting called for a contact there on the centre pass. Oh, but... Possession, wing defence. Wing defence, possession. She wasn't stable in the land of that Asara Brown. So when the pass came off, Hazel Thwaite wasn't expecting it. Hell ball again! England are on this defensive Hold pressure, time. making the Ferns play laterally. They need to attack this game. Well, as well, Nolan Peru might allow herself a little smile. She has completely changed the fortunes of this side in just 11 months. Unrecognisable from the team that were beaten in the last four games by England. New Zealand have the history in the World Cup over the roses. We wondered what vintage New Zealand side would turn up, and so far they've showed themselves. Now England need Harson. Now they need Harrison. And it's England's centre pass. That was a crucial goal for them to pull themselves back into this game. Throw in England. Stick a heat map on every one of these New Zealand Wind players. Rore. Just there. Kopua. All of them have stood up to this England attacking threat. Advantage goal. England now responds. Six all apiece in this quarter. A sip of the water from Tracy contact, Neville. Attack, oh, there's contact all over the court. Yep. Umpires need 52 eyes at this point. Body drop side, Saunders on the edge. Great swing, Ekinazio. Clark had to think about it. Jaffrey waving in front. Good strength from Falao, mental almost getting back and up for that intercept. Watch this ball from Langwood, nearly just a little bit more lift needed for mental. We are in to the danger mile. Three goals. Throwing New Zealand. Don't do that. That's a lateral ball, you want to make your 45 angle. Now they have to lift themselves again, Barney's England. Sensible netball from New Zealand. Obstruction, but no one coming forward. Good from 
Saunders just to pull off. She always provides an outlet. Akinata's shoes just come off. Shoes come off, not the heads come off. She's been so calm, oh. hasn't she? She's had a great game. Just in terms, not just her shooting percentages, but how she's worked with Fulao. It's been tricky at times. This England defence has not made it easy for them in that circle. Joe Harton instructing her troops. Buzz around them, get in their faces, make it difficult. When you've had such an attacking threat. That's the gut ball, straight at you when you've got a defender on your back. You just want that ball so that you can take it and put a shot in like that. If New Zealand are to make this final, then they should hold both those attacking players on their shoulders. Back again. Construction goal shooter. Right, big turnover needed from England. They're forcing the fans back. Four goals is doable. Five goals just turns the sweat level up again. Hell ball! Great defense. Mentor calling for time so that they can get this ball back and give themselves more opportunity, but time not called. The clock ticks on. New Zealand put this pressure on Australia last game out, but ultimately couldn't close them. Can England do a job on the Silver Ferns? Brilliant again defensively from New Zealand. Good Joe job, Harton. England. Three goals. England centre pass. Score this, then take the centre pass. Good control. Hey, Fonthwaite again finding herself in so much space. Great passing, great shot. New Zealand. The bench is going wild, trying to lift their team. Not sure their team can hear them above the crowd inside the arena. Ah, oh, so good from New Zealand. Like a training game at times, like they're not hearing that crowd around them. Echinazia again. Takes that take. Deep breath. The upper body strength, the skill on the ball. The ability to shut it all out. Back to three. Approaching the two-minute mark. This one they need. Bunny's obstruction. She'll know they wanted to shoot. She had to set herself. And she makes sure of it to Joe Harton. 10-9, England go up in this quarter. The team that has lost every quarter up to this point has only put nine on the board. If New Zealand take this to 10, then surely they're going through to that World Cup final. Everything being put on by England. Every drop of sweat. Problem is, in New Zealand, they've got an attacking end that hasn't broken sweat. No, Ekinazio on the ball in that shooting end. She has been phenomenal. They'll need to be quick. And when you're quick, that's when the error comes. England centre, Guthrie, Housby. Another up. Now they need this centre pass. Now they need to turn the pressure on New Zealand. Here comes the red wall. Here comes the noise. Again, New Zealand just shut it out. They think that ball's England's. It's not. Hold tight, in the case. Where you are. That possibly has done New Zealand a favour. Gives them the chance to regroup into the final minute. So clever. Using that ball, using the whole court. Yes, it's the defensive work from England. But New Zealand, no, this is the equivalent of a goal. This is just chipping away at that clock. England are about to see their hopes and their dreams shattered. They can't do anything when New Zealand have ball in hand. And that has been the story of this. Netball, a possession game. The possession, oh. the goals have gone the way of New Zealand. What a sweet shot. And yes, so frustrating for England how the fans just were able to play that ball around, bring this clock down. New Zealand has been scored, but there's not enough time on the clock. Nolene Tarua knows that. Nolene Tarua knows. New Zealand knows. The crowd here in the arena knows. 11 months ago, 
They threw everything out the window. They backed Nolene Tarua. What a remarkable turnaround for this New Zealand team. What a remarkable turnaround under their coach. A quantum leap into the final for New Zealand. Rose's hearts are broken. But Australia, New Zealand will meet once more. But how lucky are we? We've just witnessed the two closest Netball World Cup semi-finals in history. Just two goals stopped England. Just two goals stopped South Africa. New Zealand and Australia have done Pamela Cookie what they've done time and time again. Oh, first up, I'm just so gutted for the Roses and how much they worked in this game, how much they fought back and they kept going at it. But the ferns just too much their structures work their systems work Ekinazo here we see a goal attack boy was she on form today she just kept taking on the wave the defensive pressure from mentor and asura brown the tips they got through the court just not enough every time she got the ball in that circle bar one she scored leila gaska joins the huddle after the operation that ruled her out of course of this tournament so she pinged her Achilles, a crucial miss for England. But ultimately, they showed on court just the spirit that they have, but just not enough. This New Zealand side is urgent. Oh, you can feel the pain. Oh, this will be hurting the girls so much. They've had such a formidable tournament, and that captain there, Serena Guthrie, has been on SOG. She is a history maker in terms of how she's galvanized this team and brought them all together. They've worked as a team because of her. And the other leaders on court, Mentor, Jay Clark, Nat Hayfonthwaite, how good was she coming on a wing attack after that first quarter? So gutted for them. The players gutted. Let's hear from the coach, Tracy Neville. Well, Tracy, it's utterly heartbreaking, isn't it? Semi-finals can be so cruel. Can you begin to sum up the disappointment and the emotion? Yeah. I think um, New Zealand come out really strong in that first quarter um, and I think they brought it and we didn't learn our lessons quick enough and I think then we seem to be chasing the game which is something we've not actually done during this tournament and you know we give it our all but we just didn't have enough legs to just continue and just get them into steps that we needed. It looked for a moment didn't it you brought Nat Hayton to eight on she lifted the whole place you went in at half time we saw how pumped you were but it was just so hard against an attacking end that never seemed to miss all afternoon. Yeah, you know, fair dues to, you know, that was a class performance from New Zealand. Um, our attack, you know, you can't make basic errors like that. And that is probably the only game in this tournament that we've actually been making basic errors. And is it down to legs, misunderstanding, or is it just a build-up of pressure? And they did a great job on us. Um, I think there were opportunities for us to take that game, um, and we left it too late. Well, you've got to go back, haven't you? Come back tomorrow and try and get that bronze because there's so many people here that want to see you succeed and at least come away with a medal. Yeah, this tournament's quite brutal. You lose one game, you never get a, um, another option. However, you know, we've, we've got another game tomorrow and we go again. Unlucky today, Tracy. It does no consolation now, but it was an amazing semi-final. We'll see you tomorrow. Maria Falau. she's just gone to go and give Tracy a big hug and then she's just going to walk over. Maria, many, many congratulations. How proud are you of what your side just went and did up there? I honestly cannot put into words what just happened. The belief was there, the, the discipline was there. It was all about keeping to our structures and processes and just plonking the ball one by one, which was pretty hard to do, especially against the Cassie side against England. But in saying that, when players needed to stand up, all seven stood up, and that I am very, very proud of. And at half time, when England were ahead and they had that amazing end to the second quarter, what sort of things were you saying? Because you didn't veer off your game plan, did you? No, um, Noel's made a good point of um, not getting caught chasing. Uh, and stick to the game plan just like you said and um, that happens when we get out of structure and we're trying to play chase ball. They are very, very quick uh, but we've got to be smart with our space and I thought that uh, the team did that very well. And Ekinazio, a word on your shooting partner. 
phenomenal this afternoon. I think she missed one. Uh, playing alongside someone and standing there watching and admiring gives us a sense of what that's like under such intense pressure. Uh, she is, I'm fangirling her. I've been fangirling her this whole tournament, uh, but I am extremely, extremely proud. And to be able to play alongside such a player with a lot of poise, a lot of calmness, and she's really smart um, in terms of her netball game structure. So, uh, oh, look, when you've got a goal attack like that, who can just turn and shoot, it makes my job very easy. Just finally, we spoke, didn't we, a few days ago about the fact yourself, Laura Langman, Casey Corpua, you've never won a World Cup, you've won an awful lot, and now you get the chance to do it against your old rivals tomorrow. And you're hardly going to be able to sleep tonight, aren't you, with excitement? Yeah, oh, look, we'll um, celebrate the win today and um, make the most of it, but knowing that the job isn't done and um, Australia are a top side and you can't fault them at all. So, yeah, lots of sleep tonight um, and see what, how tomorrow brings. Many, many congratulations, Maria. Nolene, come and join us. 11 months ago, when you took the job, did you ever imagine you'd be at a World Cup final? Oh, look, it's massive for us. I, I'm a bit, yeah, I don't know, at the moment I'm a bit lost for words, but it's a massive buzz and, you know, we've got one more game to go to actually get the gold and that's what we're going for. What was that built on? Was it character, experience? How did you get through such a close encounter? Yeah, I think it was a mixture of both things. There was uh, definitely a lot of heart and a lot of fight, and we found that out when we played against Australia. But also we got quite good structures, and I think when we got torn apart, we were able to come back to the structures, and that held us to, uh, strong. And just finally, it's a World Cup final, isn't it, against Australia? Uh, it's going to be huge. We know that you two have fought it out on so many occasions. Are you going to get the upper hand this time, Nolene? Oh, look, uh, we've already won in some respect. We were underdogs coming into this game. We've won. So there's nothing else for us to worry about just apart from getting out there and playing. And it's one of those moments that we want to save you, but oh, it's amazing and we're really happy that we're playing in contention for the gold medal. Well played, so thrilling semi-final. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.